Okay, so while I'm waiting for my food to be cooked, uh, I think I want to record another chess game against Stockfish. This time I'm playing as black uh, to make it fair because uh, last time I had white and now I just need to find out how to trigger it to actually... Um, no, that's not it. Uh, to actually play, I think I have to force it somehow. Move now, maybe. Okay, here we go. Um, uh, I will just copy what Stockfish did last time in this opening. And there's already a deviation from last time, so he played e4, d5 instead of what I did. So I already learned that uh, what I did most likely was a mistake. Um, I think c5 might be a good move, because I really don't want to uh, have him... But then he will probably just play c3, right? Uh, I'm not sure about this opening. It's already different. Um, but maybe this is taken away. Uh, maybe I should fianchetto. Nah, I will just play c5. Okay, uh, interesting. It is something that I really hadn't considered. Uh, I will definitely not take, I will just close off the position because I feel more comfortable that way. Uh, but for that, should I? Uh, should I move the e-pawn first? Uh, that would be kind of a waste. I guess I, I already misplayed this opening terribly. Um, so it doesn't really require me, uh, uh, the supercomputer best engine in the world to beat me, uh, just some basic opening knowledge, which I lack. I feel quite already... Uh, this is really bad. If I take this, the queen will take it. I don't want to take this. Uh, I'd like to protect the queen with a knight. Um, can I do this? Oh, he will just push further, right? He won't take, he will just push it further. Unless I... I block it off. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, now I feel a little bit more comfortable. I kind of want to play e4, but... Yeah, let's do this. Okay, that's nicely closed off, so I can now prepare my castling. My white bishop uh, has great uh, possibilities, unless I move the knight, because it will block it. But I think first I will just develop this knight and this bishop, and then castle. Okay, so let's see. Um, I already see that there's quite the attack mounting towards my king's side. So that's where I feel all of my pieces need to be brought. Uh, if I can help it, I really would like to exchange. But there's unfortunately there's no place where I can put my, my white light square bishop to uh, because this is covered up by the queen. 
Hmm. Uh, bringing my knight over is also really difficult because of this uh, pawn here on d d5. Um, there's not really much. I could develop it to here. No, that makes no sense. Not going anywhere. From, I really need to get here, but uh, this rook needs to move somewhere else. I feel. Then I can develop the knight from here to there to there to there, which would be great. And after I move the knight, I can then place the bishop better. Um, but no, I don't want to move the knight before the bishop because right now it still has. Or should I maybe ignore? No, I really need to sh shift my pieces over to the king side, otherwise I cannot possibly defend against an attack. Yeah, that's what I feared. He already prepares uh, marching forward. Um, should I... Ah, uh, let's let's do this quickly. So my um, I feel like I should close off this possibility for the night. Because if he jumps there right now, I f wouldn't feel comfortable. What about this one? Oh, I'd be okay with that, actually. Or should I put the knight to a better square? Yeah, I feel I should. Oh, he's pushing over here. It's already looking a lot better than last game, despite me feeling a bit uncomfortable, but uh, the closed position uh, makes it so that I will definitely live a little longer. Um, what is he planning to do with that? I mean, he will just push right, but I don't want him to put the knight there, that's why I do this. But this also creates a weakness with this pawn. Um, but since it cannot be, cannot really be attacked from anything, and will be double defended, I will just play like that. And now he is threatening it. I really thought he would play on the on the king side, but uh, he doesn't. Okay, takes. I retake, and I'm fine. I I really don't see a point in. Uh, in in taking. I guess I'll instead just improve my bishop by putting it here, then it covers it doesn't cover this one, but it's not an issue anyways because of this pawn, which I don't intend on taking. So let's do this. 
Hmm, okay, he wants to, to open up this line. I just would leave this pawn undefended. I guess he can also bring his uh, knight over there to create an even bigger threat. Uh, I'll do this. And I also want to move my queen out of the way, but it is so awkwardly positioned right now. Ugh. No. Um. It's like my my uh, whole all of my pieces are extremely restricted in where they could possibly move. It's like this is the only area where there's some play for me to make. Uh, there's two pieces in the way, and none of them will go anywhere anytime soon. So I guess I put the queen here to connect the rooks. Uh, he will now double up with his works. Oh no, what? I can do the same. I will do the same. Okay. The knight comes in and threatens the bishop. So, um, I might want to take the knight out, do I? I mean, this white uh, light bishop doesn't really accomplish anything else. Actually, I could have put it, no, I couldn't because it's, yeah, yeah, I could take this knight, but then he will uh, recapture with the, then my, my knight will be in a terrible spot. And I have to play it back. This is indeed very awkward. Um, my fear is, oh, I could also just. He's threatening this, right? Yes. But it is still covered by the queen. It's just a pawn. I could move here with the bishop. Or I could bring back the queen to this side. But the queen also has the job of... I can totally overprotect it, but now nah, I want a queen on the other side actually. I want a queen over here maybe and a bishop here. So let's start by removing the queen. If he takes the bishop then I'll just take it. Or do I move the bishop? No, I can't move the bishop first. Okay, he sacrifices his knight because he knows that he will get compensation for that. Mm, I take, he takes, I take, he takes. No, this is not good. Screw it, I can't just take. Oh, can I? I can take with the bishop, yes. Ah, uh, then he gets it back because it's still pinned. Wait a minute.
Uh, this is a calculation intense uh, endeavor, but I think he already made all the calculations. He wouldn't just have sacrificed the knight for nothing. He knows that he's gonna make some gain on this. Uh, I take with the bishop, he takes with the bishop. I can't take with the no, uh, with, the, with the pawn, because then my rook is hanging. But I also cannot ignore the pawn, because uh, I have to do something about it. Yeah, I think I will take with the bishop. Now... I will do what? He has... Um, I play my queen over here, right? This means I protect the pawn and I will shoo him away. Will he just take? I'm still three times on this pawn. But he can, he can put the queen on it at as well. And the moving upwards uh, doesn't really change much. But if I protect this, yeah, that's good. That's a, actually, that move must be the best that I can currently see. So now, uh, what changed about the position? Uh, I think I've even beaten more pieces. No, wait, it's the other way around. I don't have a display for that currently. I also do not see the, the engine evaluation. I moved it uh, down so that I don't see. I'm you don't you don't see it anyways because I'm just recording the actual playing field, but I don't see it either. So. I cannot cheat by, by looking what the computer recommends. Huh, uh, what now? I have no idea and uh, very soon my foot will be done because I'm already recording since 17 minutes. I guess I could pause. Yeah, I will do this. I will pause. Um. Okay, what are my options? The problem is that... Okay, uh, I will pause now and I will continue this game later. Okay, so I have thought a bit uh, what to do and uh, yeah, also eaten in the meantime and uh, problems are I cannot really play any of the pieces over here because they kind of keep it loosely together. Problem is uh, white could push here down the D file and um, would be quite problematic for me, especially then the knight could also come there. Um, no, not really. I mean he must uh, somehow protect this pawn so I could uh, move the queen out of the way but uh, I, I think I will just do this because uh, this knight currently doesn't really do a whole lot I mean except uh, for for tying this knight to this tile because uh, when I move away he can also move away but uh, I want to protect this uh, square a little more so uh, now he has tripled up so let's see he uh, that takes, takes uh, we're good for I mean, now he can actually move the knight here too. Or he could play this. Alright, th this would pin again this uh, pawn. 
Uh, if he, he if he pushes the pawn, I will just push my pawn, so that is fine. Actually, uh, the knight can't go here because I have control over this. So mm, not even looking that bad. Problem is that I currently have no idea what to do. Um, because my options still kind of restricted. And now that everything of his pieces is over to the, what is it even, the queen side, um, I feel my, my knight over here is a bit lost. Uh, his bishops work in both directions. Uh, this one won't move away. The white one currently not accomplishing a whole lot. I think it is the most likely to to move somewhere else. Uh, could I not play my knight over here? Um, I mean, I could. I would <coughs> what would happen then? Uh, this looks more threatening than even I still uh, uh but I would defend the the rook one more time. So yes, I think this this is what I do. Okay, so so he took what right now yeah right I, why did I not see this coming? I yeah, because I thought he was only three times on it, but he actually was four times on it. And not really anything how I could have prevented it. So uh, the queen is threatened, so I have to react. I think if I just remove the queen from the line of fire, uh, just the lost pawn, and of course uh, he has then two connected past pawns, which is, um, yeah, it's it's uh, almost as valuable as two additional minor pieces, because the only way to really stop them is to sacrifice something. If you don't have any pawns on your own to to exchange for them anymore, yeah. So this is bad. Uh, I really cannot put pressure on this. He will just let him be there, I suppose. Ah, uh, it's like he's doing everything everything correct that you can in this game. Who would have thought? Yeah, that was what that's what I was afraid of. He's not just pushing the pawns and there's like no way for me to uh, I mean there is a way like uh I will exchange my pieces for it, I suppose. Uh and I think I can't even do this in a good way. Uh, I could put my knight over here. Mm, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Then, yeah, I will exchange a bit. Yeah, this is so lost anyways, so just take it to the grave. Um. I kind of still need this. Uh, I wanted the bishop to exchange itself for one of the pawns, but uh, I guess every other move will prolong. Uh, where else should I go with my knight? No, it's not helpful. Next move, he will do this, 
and who But I've already uh, survived for more moves than in the last game, which uh, was only 24. I, I didn't say it at the end of the video, but uh, it's basically uh, it. So. Ah, come on. Come over here. I thought he would just take, but now he can of course play another a better move. And now the knight is pinned to the queen. Where can I go as a queen? I think I should just sack it. Then I can at least take his... Uh, no, no, no. That's all really terrible. If I move the queen away, he will just take the knight and I get absolutely nothing for it. But my queen is still alive. And then also there's the threat of... I have to move this out of the way. Or you take the bishop or something. Yeah. Uh, what now? I can't block because I would just lose the. Can I at least take this one to my grave? And uh, you'll take more stuff. Uh, whatever this this game was lost uh, several moves ago. Yeah, I, I'm just a piece. I'm several pawns down now. Now he can force uh, me to to exchange my queen off. And is it? No, I'm still still alive. What? Or is it? No, I cannot. Hey, is this the weird thing that it doesn't tell you when you checkmate? I would say I'm checkmate, right? Can't go here. Can't go there. Da, da, da. No, that's that must be it. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. This time, uh, 42 uh, moves. Actually, I survived 42 moves, which is a great improvement over the last game where it was 24 moves. So, uh, let's see if I can improve further in this game. And, but that's it for today's video, or this video at least.